Let's go watch it in 2D. No, let's go watch it in 3D. But if we watch it in 3D, then is it worth the cost? After these messages, we'll be right back. This podcast is brought to you by 3D Wiggle. With 3D Wiggle software, you can impress your family and friends with 3D GIFs and videos. To find out more information, please click on the link in the description for 20% off coupon as well. This podcast is also brought to you by Patreon. With Patreon, you can become a patron and get this podcast commercial free and get many more benefits. Please click on the description again to get more information. Now, back to the show. Hello, hello, hello. This is Adolf Vega with James Tate. And today we're doing a summer 3D movie preview for 2018. So now it's mid-May and, uh, you know, summer movie season is going to be upon us. And, of course, 3D movies is a big part of the summer movie season. And the most 3D movies are actually coming out um, in the summer. So you're just going to go over each movie release date, and basic thoughts of the movie. Obviously, you yes. haven't seen any of these movies yet, so it's just a preview. Just our in, you know, initial thoughts from the trailer. And uh, if you haven't seen it, on the main website, we have an article with all the trailers and everything there, so you could get all the information there. So let's start off with May. Uh, which is Solo, a Star Wars movie. And it's coming out next week, May 25th, 2018. Yeah. You're after something. Is it revenge? Money? Or is it something else? You look good. A little rough around the edges, but good. Heard about a job. Big shot gangster putting together crew. I'm a driver. And I'm a flyer. I waited a long time for a shot like this. What do you think? Uh... Well, what do you know? You got a line on a ship? Yeah, I know a guy. He's the best smuggler around. I heard a story about you. I was wondering if it's true. Everything you've heard about me is true. Whoa. <laughs> L3! Let's go with the mean man's face. Who are these guys? If you come with us, you're in this life for good. You might want to buckle up, baby. give you some advice we assume everyone will betray you and you will never be disappointed i got a really good feeling about this since when do you know how to fly 190 years old you look great push it think of solo well i think that it's been a bumpy ride to make the film and um i've heard very mixed things about pre-screenings so yeah we'll have to see i've heard kind of not to be a bad joke but lukewarm (laughs) impressions and um you know soft recommendations and like i liked it but i didn't love it so you know obviously i'm gonna have to see it next week i'm not super hyped about it should be fun but i don't know yeah i don't know it's personally you know at this point it's a the entire franchise is like a train wreck you can't help but watch so yeah 
Well, I still really <laughs> like Star Wars. I know you're <laughs> part of the haters of Star Wars yeah. now. Yeah. But um, well, yeah. Rogue One was good. Um. So yeah, it should be fun. It, yeah. You know, I don't expect it to be high art or really controversial. Pretty yeah. straightforward. Um, I don't expect anything to be rewritten. That's yeah. now also a prequel thing that isn't yeah. going to rewrite anything in the lore. This yeah. obviously takes place before Episode Four, New Hope. Yeah, you don't, exactly. Do you know how long before? Or no, seven years actually. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, seven years. Yeah. So, just in case you don't know what Solo Star Wars story is. You know, you have the story of Han Solo as he boards the Millennium Falcon and he has his first real adventure as the lovable scoundrel with Chewbacca and Lando and more uh-huh. and such. So now I think some of it, some of the exciting things in this trailer, it's like, well, obviously they're not going to die. So, yeah, I mean. You could play up the action, but you know they're not going to die. You know, mm-hmm. there's, being a prequel, it just, it really, you know, you could play around with things and they could get maybe roughed up, but you know for a fact Han Solo is going to be in five other <laughs> movies, you know, basically. So, yeah. And same thing with Chewie. All right, so let's get any other thoughts on Solo? Nah, I th- I think we uh we covered it. Now, originally, James, you said that you didn't expect it to come out in May, and I guess you're gonna. But it looks like it is. Yeah. And I was with you, so I guess we're both feeding crow. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that was just you know. <laughs> yeah. So let's move on to June. June uh, is the first movie, um, is Incredibles 2. Not The Incredibles 2, just Incredibles 2, coming out on June 15th. Did you wash your hands? With soap? Did you dry them? Is this all vegetables? Who wanted all vegetables? I did. So, are we going to talk about it? What? The elephant in the room. What elephant? Mom's new job. It's time to make some wrong things right. Help me bring supers back into the sunlight. We need to change people's perceptions about superheroes, and Elastigirl is our best play. Better than me? <clears throat> Whoa! I like Mom's new job! Bye, sweetie. I'll watch the kids, no problem. That's not the way you're supposed to do it, Dad. They want us to do it this I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? Math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. Hello? Hey, honey. How are the kids? Everything's great. Ah! Is she having adolescence? And Jack Jack? He's in excellent health. What the? Num num cooking. Cooking. Wow, gay. That is freaky. You know it's crazy, right? To help my family, I gotta leave it. To fix the law, I gotta break it. You've got to, so our kids can have that choice. Thank you, young man. Combustion imminent? What does that mean? Ah! It means fire, Robert. The screen slater interrupts this program for an important announcement. Suit up. It might get weird. I'll be there ASAP. Where you going ASAP? You better be back ASAP. And, you know, the continued adventures of the super family um, as they are trying to have a normal life. 
and you know Jack Jack, um, the little baby is discovering his powers, and the um, wife Helen is you know going on missions, and how that leaves you know the dad to take care of the kids, and um, yeah, I'm not really feeling this. Yeah, I, yeah, just uh, I don't know why not. I well. I'm not really feeling uh, the the movie because it seems like we said before a retread of the first one. You just swapping the you know, yeah wife yeah. and husband and yeah exactly. Like so, I'm not really I, sure what the villain is right now either, or yeah. what the deal is exactly. So, <sighs> it just yeah. I don't know. It seems like a pretty straight forward sequel where i mean it took them like almost 15 years to release this so really it's like this is the most creative thing you could think of in that amount of time just a basic retread of the story you know i guess it's gonna be somewhat interesting but i mean it just it looks like it could have been a direct to dvd follow-up that came out like two years later not like a full-on sequel you know what i mean yeah exactly i i i yeah that would personally i i've heard from the most people that would be the best direction to have them like age 10 years or something yeah you know that was a very logical way to do the story which is yeah all right you know, that took place then, this place now, and that yeah. time in between the movies has been the time in the story. So, uh-huh. you know, it would make sense. Yeah, it'd be plausible. And also, one thing that I kind of like about that whole thing is, is like, oh, well, they aged with you, you know, because a lot of people have been waiting for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, you know, a, yeah. The one other thing about this was that it wasn't like too cartoony, like, you know, Le- Lego movies or whatever. It was semi realistic, you know, so you wouldn't yeah. expect it just to be like The Simpsons and be uh-huh. forever the same age, you know. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, probably will be okay, but I don't know. I'm just not as excited as I should be. And it's like, you know, I want to like this film a lot, but yeah, you know. I, I, it kind of feels like Finding Dory again, where it was a fine movie. It just didn't seem necessary and didn't really improve upon anything. And it's just like, it was fine. I liked it, but you know, and it, it's sad because I think we're both, we're thinking the Incredibles had the most potential of a sequel compared to like the cars movies and the planes movies and yeah. you know, all the other sequel movies that Marvel or not Marvel, uh, Disney has done that we don't feel necessary, but they're doing it anyway. The Incredibles was like, Oh yeah, you could totally continue that series. And nah, not really, but we'll see. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe. Anything else? No. All right. Next movie is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So, uh, what are you dating like an accountant now? Or Owen. Ventriloquist? Stop it. You love a dummy. This is not why we're here. You can blame me. Try to shame me. I know why we're here. A rescue op. Save the dinosaurs from an island that's about to explode. What could go wrong? Blue is alive. You raised her. Do these animals deserve the same protections given to other species? Or should they just be left to die? These creatures were here before us. And if we're not careful, they're going to be here after. You know me.
Life cannot be contained. Life breaks free. Life finds a way. That's coming out on June 22nd, and it's a sequel to Jurassic World. And we both were kind of, you know, had fun with the Jurassic World when it came out, but we didn't love it. It was just like it was stupid, but fun. Now, this looks even stupider. (laughs) That's the only way to really explain it. You know, it's been four years since the theme park you know, was destroyed by the dinosaurs and you got to go back and rescue some. And then, you know, there's a auction where they're trying to uh, auction off the dinosaurs, but they escape and they're roaming around. And it just seems like a yeah. sequel. <laughs> well, and they, they, you know, they have to make a trilogy out of it. So have to, it's required. <laughs> Universal. Mm-hmm. So um yeah I I I hope the 3D is good. Yeah. The 3D was really great for Jurassic World when it originally came out. So maybe this will be good too with mm-hmm. the 3D wise, you know. Now, you know I'm not, not every Go ahead. Yeah. All, all I was going to say is like not every film has to be super sophisticated or anything, you know? Like mm-hmm. I think like a dumb film every once in a while isn't bad. Like Jurassic World. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just brainless summer entertainment. You know, the one thing I worry about with the 3D is that it's going to be so dark that you may not actually be really able to <laughs> see the 3D. One, one, one thing I'm glad is that the kids are gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's like, we're having a divorce. It's like, I don't want to watch this. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. So none of those kids are back. Um, so I guess that's basically it for Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. Anything else or no? Yeah, no. no. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I, I'm, I'm uh, cautiously optimistic about it because the first one was was all right. All right. So let's move on to July. First movie, first three D movie of July is Ant Man and the Wasp. So, how long have you been Ant Man again? Not long. It just sort of happened. I wish I could fight bad guys like you. And I seem to mess it up almost every time. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Like a partner. Dr. Pym, I actually heard what happened to you. You opened up the quantum realm. That's when this crazy could be ghost who like walks through walls and stuff. Stole your tech. And now she wants to take over the world or whatever. Who would have believed that in your hour of need, you would turn to us? Not me. Because I mean, we robbed you. Do you remember? That's us. The only chance we've got is supposed to deal. Ant Man and the Wasp teaming up. Follow my lead. She seems more intense. You go low, I'll go high. I have wings. Why would I go low? We're gonna die. I don't want to die. We didn't die. Hey, what'd I miss? We were just tiny. It takes two to make a thing go right. 
I was partners with Hank on a project called Goliath. How big did you get? My record, 21 feet. You? 65 feet. 65. If you two are finished comparing sizes... 65. Now, um, this comes out July 6th, 2018, and is the continued adventures of the cinematic Marvel Cinematic Universe, and Ant-Man and the Ant-Man and the Wasp appear to be trying to find the original Wasp, and there seems to be another corporation that is tr- trying to steal the technology from the pin particle and we don't really know that much about the story. The The trailer is fun, and it looks cool. Um, not really sure what... There's a ghost character that could turn, you know, intangible, and she's trying to steal things, and it seems cool. I'm definitely, you know... I think Ant-Man was a big surprise yeah. for both of us. Yeah, I, I liked Ant-Man. Um, I think Paul Rudd does a really good job as Scott Lang, and so, like... You know, I I think that this will be pretty good. I think I'll like it a lot more than, like, Black Panther. Um, but, you know, like, I don't know, like, uh, the first one was pretty good. Um, the only thing is that, you know, I'm just wondering when this film will take place. Yeah. Like, is it going to take place before or during Infinity War or, like, what? You know, yeah. Is it? It's one of those unfortunate kind of things where they probably didn't have time to release it beforehand. So it's probably going to take place beforehand because, without spoiling anything, um, the events that happen in Infinity War affect the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. So you know, I'm, we are curious if anything is mentioned or if it just takes place the same time or, or a little bit before and they, you know, cause they're, they're actually mentioned in infinity war, but they're not, you know, they just said they're doing their family thing. And that was that, but they are expected to be in Avengers four. So I'm looking forward to it so far from some, yeah. that one is the most movie I'm looking forward to the most. You? Yes. I can I can agree I can I can agree with that because um, Ant Man one was good um, the you know I, I I don't have any problems with it and I don't see why like the sequel would be bad okay so, you know you know what I mean yeah um next up is Hotel Transylvania three <laughs> summer vacation. What can I help you with, Lord of Darkness? I'm looking for a date. The date is Friday, July 13th. No, no. I want to meet someone. Understood. You want to eat dim sum. Don't you get it? I want to go on a date. I'm lonely. I understand. You want bologna. Uh, uh, Too many eyes. Too few eyes. Not into tentacles. Dad? (laughs) Maybe. You're stressed out from working too hard. You need a vacation from running everyone else's vacation. And I know just how to fix it. Mavis, where are we going? A cruise? Surprise! Oh, no, 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 no. Dad! Come on, there's so much to do. You could go scuba diving. Try some exotic food. Or just enjoy the view. Okay, Dad, thank you. Maybe you'll find your own fireworks on the cruise. It's not the love boat, Frank. Ahoy there! I am Captain Erica. You must be the one and only Dracula. There's something about an accent that makes a man sound so intelligent. You nailed it, honey! Best summer vacation ever! You were right, great-grandfather Van Helsing. Monsters are disgusting. They have no idea what's about to happen to them. (laughs) All going according to plan. There is 
something about that woman I don't trust. The food here is to die for. Mm -hmm. Must have been garlic in the guacamole. Is that deadly for you? <laughs> Was that you? Ugh. Oh no, Blavi's gonna puke. <laughs> Three. Three. The release date is July 13th, 2018, and the continued adventures of Hotel Transylvania were they. Uh, the whole cast goes on a cruise, and the captain nice. of the ship happens to be part of the um, family that want to, that have always feared um, monsters, you know. <laughs> the Van Helsing family where they're, you know, they have a long history of taking down Dracula and monsters. So yeah. Um, what, have you seen the hotel Transylvania movies? Um, no, actually, are they any good? Okay. I saw both of them and I reviewed two. The first one you know, I saw it at the daughter theater, and I was like, "Hey, this is actually pretty good for what it was." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Okay, Adam Sandler makes a pretty good animated movie. It's pretty calm, and it makes sense, and it's a good story, and it's fun." So we went to the second one, and they really same thing as if we're saying with um, Incredibles. It really didn't feel necessary. Many of the story points were kind of rushed, and it really just felt for me. And I felt like it didn't do as good as it should have. And it just seemed too kitty, too, you know, that kind of, uh, you know, super fast jokes kind of thing, you know. You know what I'm talking about? That ADD kind yes, of super yeah. family guy. Got to have a joke every five seconds or else, you know. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's a really annoying. So I really hated second Hotel Tell Trends video movie. I am not going to watch this um, because I already <laughs> feel like I am so over the franchise, you know. And I don't think I could be a fair critic because I really, really did it like the second one. I gave that one a four out of ten. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's when you're that's the second one and this one just looks like a cheap kids movie and it just totally, you know, a cash grab from Sony. So I'm not expecting much out of this. And you know, it makes sense that's a summer vacation movie, but yes. You know. All right. Do you have anything else, or do we keep nah. going? All right. So next up is Skyscraper, which releases on July thirteenth, twenty eighteen, with Dwayne the Rock Johnson. FBI, show me your hands. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Just a little nervous. Well, you look very handsome. I just don't want to screw it up, you know? You have been preparing for this meeting for six months. You've got this. Let me ask you guys a question. Daddy loves who? Me. Daddy loves who? Me! Me! Exactly. Daddy's gonna go make that bacon. Gross. Mr. Sawyer, is your family enjoying their stay? Very much so. They're shocked you gave us the entire floor. After your security assessment, what do you think of the building? With all due respect, he is a glorified security guard. Please. The Pearl is the tallest, most advanced building in the world. You've built a vertical city, but you've brought with it every single safety and security challenge that I could think of. We thought this floor was empty. So did I. Not only have you brought them all indoors, but you've trapped them 240 floors in the air. No one really knows what would happen if things go wrong. But I'm just a glorified security guard, so what the hell do I know anyway? What's going on? The 96th floor is on fire. You're gonna be just fine, I promise you that. 
No, 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 no! Tell me, how much do you love your family? If we're gonna get out of here, you're gonna have to tell me the truth. There's a reason they chose this building. It's the only thing that matters to me right now. Rock Johnson works um, is a former FBI hostage rescue team, and he's like on the security for a super skyscraper, and you know it's the biggest skyscraper in China, and some terrorists want to make it explode, and his family lives in there, and um, this is a I think a new new movie, like you know I don't remember if it's based on a book or a previous movie. I think it's just kind of its own thing. Um, what do you think of Skyscraper? Uh, you know, it's another raw, it's, you know, Dwayne the Rock Johnson movie. So, I don't know, it might be okay. I don't know if I'll see it in the theater. Probably not, but. Yeah, I mean, Dwayne the Rock Johnson is charming, is likable. He can make bad movies into okay movies. Um, yeah. Make okay movies to good movies, but. This really looks okay. You know, like a 5 out of 10. You may rent it on Redbox or something. I don't really see it being all that interesting. And, you know, the they keep showing that, like, him jumping off the railing to the, to the skyscraper window or opening or whatever. And it just, it's like, that doesn't add up. There's not enough room to do that jump, you know. And, yeah, I'm not too excited for this. I mean, I give it credit for being a new movie or original or whatever, but eh. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's move on. We got uh, Mission Impossible Fallout, which releases on July 27th, 2018. There cannot be peace without first a great suffering. The greater the suffering the greater the peace, the end you've always feared is coming. It's coming. And the blood will be on your hands. I prayed to God that it wasn't true. Solomon Lane escaped in Paris. And now the world is at risk. This is the CIA's mission. You use a scalpel. I prefer a hammer. This is a bad idea. Is it ever a good one? Honestly. He's not just some observer. He's an assassin. I don't trust anybody outside of this room. You go rogue, he's been authorized to hunt you down and kill you. That's the job. No hard feelings. Which way, Benji? Turn left! Go, 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 go! What are you waiting for? I'm jumping out a window! Oh, sorry. Good luck. When the clock stops, Ethan Hunt will lose everyone he ever cared about. You don't understand what you're involved in. You need to walk away. That's not who we are. Maybe we need to reconsider that. Accept it, Ethan. You've lost this one once done is done. 
What's done is done when we say it's done. Showtime. Oh my god. This is the sixth Mission Impossible movie. Um, this is the, the first. Sixth? I think so. Um, this is the first one that's actually going to be in 3D. The previous ones were not. So um, I don't think it was shot in 3D. I think it was just converted. But, um, you know, I really like the Mission Impossible movies. Um, you know, it just seems like this is the Mission Impossible movie that made it so the whole controversy with uh, Superman and his mustache with Henry Cavill that they wouldn't, they refused to shave. Yeah. yeah. This is the movie that they're talking about. So, um, yeah, you know, he's part of the IMF and there's something going on with the Henry Cavill agent and, you know, Mission Impossible movies are kind of just awesome action. Yep. So, what do you think of this? I, I I don't have anything like personally against it. I think it could be good. Have you watched the previous Mission Impossible movies? No, I actually haven't. So. You haven't watched any of them? No, I didn't get around to it. Aren't there like six now? Yeah. So the first one was pretty good. The second one was bad. The third one was good. The fourth one was pretty good. The fifth one was really good, too. So this is the sixth one. And besides Could the be second good. one, they're all fun action, you know, real action. And, you, yes. always, you know, I know it's easy to make fun of Tom Cruise. But when it comes to action, he delivers, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I, his religious opinions aside, I don't care what he thinks is, is he a scientologist yes oh and um yeah Re regardless of that he makes fun action movies and this should be pretty fun mm -hmm. all right so let's go on to august now many people were like no august shouldn't be in summer it's like well a lot of bigger summer movies have come out you know, in August, and it's still pretty hot in August, so I'm gonna allow it. So the first movie coming out is The Meg. So The Meg is coming out on August 10th, 2018. Bigger than we ever thought possible. How big is that thing? It was the largest shark that ever existed. A living fossil. Thought to have been extinct for over two million years. Wrong. Megalodon. He's kidding, right? There are things out there. You need to find it and kill it. Why don't you just put a tracker on it? Did you guys ever watch Shark Week? He looks heroic, but he's kind of got a negative attitude. She 
you on this, you ugly. Be... The Meg. What does the Meg stand for, James? It stands for Megalodon. The big sharks. The ancient prehistoric dinosaur sharks at that. Yes. They are extinct from have been for millions of years. So yeah. Jason Statham is the main guy in this movie. And um, you know, they find a Megalodon and it's going out to havoc and it seems really yeah. stupid. I mean, uh, you'd think it's like, you'd think the, uh, that if the Megalodon was around for so long that it would, like, appear before now, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, with giant predators like this, they need to eat a lot of food and, you know... They would yeah. be pretty devastating to the ocean, and we would see them before because, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you know, know what I mean. yeah. But what would they eat? Giant whales, and, you know, those sperm whales that are like you know huge. Because yeah, they're you know they would be the apex predator of the whole ocean and everything. You know, basically, so, you know, it's a seventy-five foot long shark. It looks like a goofy movie. I think partially is being self aware. It's stupid, you know. So yeah, I don't think it's taking itself too seriously. But it looks really dumb. Look, well, yeah, it's like we. It, it's like one of those movies that's like, oh, we know we're dumb, and then it's like, oh well, why are you making it then? <laughs> oh, and then you have the mandatory. Chinese pandering in here, James. Yes. <laughs> did you did you see the all the Asian actors? The visionary Chinese oceanographer. They really yeah. mentioned that on the website. Chinese oceanographer. Could just be an Asian. Nope. It's from China. So you know they're going to play this up in China. You know. Yeah. And I really hate when they do that kind of pandering. You know, mm-hmm. I think I've heard people in China don't like it either because they see it. No, really, they don't. You know, but, but we could uh, <laughs> could have an entire podcast about the Chinese. They are they are very interesting. Yeah, but they're a huge yeah. market right now, and yeah, people like to be pandered to somewhat. So, yeah, all right. So, all, all right. right. Here's the last one now. Last one in quotations because I don't know when the hell this movie's really coming out. <laughs> it's um Alpha. Now Alpha. This is apparently gonna be releasing August seventeenth, twenty eighteen. father always told me survival is never certain and when there are no more leaders to follow you must become one
this is I have to explain this. So officially, the official Facebook page says September fourteenth. The Sony Press website says coming soon. The you know deadline says that it's August seventeenth, but it was delayed from March second. But then it was supposed to come out March second, and then got pushed to September fourteenth. Then it got pushed up to August seventeenth. So this movie's been all over the place, and it, apparently it's gonna come out in August. Um, Apparently, we'll so Alpha is the story of the Ice Age and how wolves became part of a relationship with humanity. And you know, wow. it seems like the whole movie is with that one guy and a wolf, and they're trying to become friends and survive. And yeah, that's basically it. You know, I could kind of uh, give appreciate a simple story like this. Um, mm. What do you think? Uh, it's it sounds like an okay movie. Like it's just I don't know how like you know good it will be. <laughs> yeah. Don't you want to know how dogs <laughs> and humans first connected? <laughs> they first this this is the movie. This is the documentation. This is how it <laughs> happened. I mean, you know, I love dogs. Yeah. I don't know yeah. about you, James. Dogs are pretty great. <laughs> I'm so. more of a rat person, but okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Alpha looks like a fairly basic movie. You know, it might just be pretty simple in the execution of it. Um, so we'll see how that works. Yes. Um, we'll see if it even comes out in August or if it gets pushed back. You know, <laughs> again to some other yes. time. So that's going to be it for the summer preview. Yes. Um, yeah. I, I, I mean, we got, you know, um, I can't say it's the most <clears throat> big summer, but, you know, there's some good movies coming out. Yeah. I think we both agree that Ant-Man and the Wasp is the one number one most looking yeah. forward to. Yeah, it's the one. And that's the one that everyone cares about, realistically. And we, you know, I think might be disappointed by Incredibles 2, but we should be fine. Yeah, I don't think it'll be, like, terror bad. And, you yeah, know, like, like yeah. at, at, at most, most likely it'll just be okay, which is still unfortunate. <laughs> because it's like, it's supposed to be Incredibles, you know? Supposed to be really good. And we do have some, I guess, notable, you know, new movies with Alpha. That's not a sequel. The Meg, not a sequel. You know, um, Skyscraper, which it might be a remake, but I don't think so. Um, so yeah. There's, there's some new stuff there, you know. Yeah, there Not is. all sequels. All right. You got anything else to say on uh, nah. Summer? I All think right. we're good. I think we're good. That's a pretty good lengthy podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. After these messages, we'll be right back. This podcast is brought to you by 3D Wiggle. With 3D Wiggle software, you can impress your family and friends with 3D GIFs and videos. To find out more information, please click on the link in the description for 20% off coupon as well. This podcast is also brought to you by Patreon. With Patreon, you can become a patron and get this podcast commercial free and get many more benefits. Please click on the description again to get more information. Now, back to the show. Bye. Bye. All right, so that's going to be it for this podcast. We now have a Patreon, and the link is in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. And we are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. They don't put it everywhere. Just look for us, 3D or 2D. And, of course, review us on iTunes. And if you want to write us a letter, um, our email address is email 3 d or 2 d at gmail.com. So that's going to be it. Uh, thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.